Today we're going to talk about the Rode Go versus the PhotoWelt microphone. Now both of these things are basically portable lapel microphones instead of the old lav packs from several years ago that were kind of weighty and required a lot of setup and were a little bit more complicated to use and then you had that lapel microphone that you had to always fish through your shirts. These are just sort of small little mics that clip onto your lapel and then wirelessly talk to your camera, audio pack, uh, whatever, some kind of recording device. Anyway, they've become very popular these days and there's everything from Bluetooth ones to radio driven ones that the PhotoWelt and the Rode Go use, but the gold standard seems to be the Rode Go based on quality and a few other factors. Well anyway, today we're going to find out if the Rode Go is any good and if it's better than the PhotoWelt and which of these two is the best lapel mic in the world. <laughs> So before we get too much further, I wanna get in a bit of a soapbox here. I don't think that I'm the only one who, when you go to amazon.com and you type in a search result such as Road Go or um, Waffle Towel or something of that ilk, all the stuff that seems to populate are the sort of cheap Chinese knockoffs that Amazon is really pushing these days. Now, the reason why Amazon pushes these things so heavily is because they make the most money off of selling those knockoff items. But the point is, is that your search results always become clouded by all of that cheap junk rather than the efficient item that you want. Now I find this to be pretty annoying, but this isn't going to be a video that's crapping on Amazon. Really what we're here to discuss are lapel mics. So what we're going to try to find out today is if the uh, Chinese knockoff version of the Rode Go mic is better than the Rode Go itself. So let's go ahead and dive into a few key differences here. We're going to discuss things like reliability and battery life, what each mic comes with. We'll of course do a test between the two of them, and then we'll sort of come up with our final conclusion. Hint, if you don't feel like watching the rest of the video, I do feel like the Rode Go is the better microphone. Uh, if for any reason that when I was recording my earlier videos with the PhotoWelt microphone while the Rode Go uh, microphones were unavailable for purchase, uh, there was a lot of, it, basically when I bought it in the beginning, I had a lot of good success with it. It sounded pretty decent all in all and it got the job done but after a few weeks of using it all of a sudden the microphone started breaking up so like in other words uh, my audio would just kind of cut out and what I determined was that the radio signal between the receiver and the transmitter uh, there was some something preventing them from communicating properly basically in other words it was just a cheap piece of crap and it wasn't very reliable the Rode Go, on the other hand, though, I've been using now for uh, my last several videos, and it's been absolutely fantastic. I've not had any kind of reliability issues with it, and they sound great. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump into some details here. First thing I want to touch on are the deceptive advertising practices of these knockoff companies on Amazon. And I know I said this isn't going to be a crap on Amazon video, but this is something that's important. You'll notice in this picture that the photo welt microphones are represented as smaller squares, when in reality they are bigger rectangles. They are bigger than the road goes, and I'll touch on that later in the video. But the point is, is that the first picture you see of the photo welts, they look sort of small and compact like the road goes, in order to sort of, um, you know, kind of throw this comparison up and I just think that that's deceptive and it, and it just goes to show that they're dishonest in what they're trying to portray of the product. Let's talk for a moment about what both microphone setups came with. The PhotoWelt arguably is a much better setup out of the box than the Rode Go and it's kind of where I wish uh, Rode didn't cheapen out the way they did but they did. PhotoWelts come with this nice carrying case, two USB charging cables, the photo welts obviously themselves this lapel mic it's okay it's a free lapel mic frankly it's better than the sennheiser ones that had come with uh, their lavalier packs but nevertheless uh i wouldn't exactly say it's audio file quality comes with a camera cable uh so basically you're going to plug this into the receiver and that's the other annoying thing about the photo welts is i can never tell which one is which this is obviously the uh, transmitter. Uh, this is the receiver, so this is going to plug into the camera, and then it comes with the phone cable. This is the TRRS cable that's compatible with the, uh, the phones if you plug directly in that. And then, of course, this little adapter which goes from like hot shoe to the clip of the mic. Now, uh, the Rode Go, on the other hand, came with this uh, very janky pouch. Really, the only thing it can fit in here are the Rode Go's themselves. This thing is kind of borderline worthless. Uh, one nice touch, though, is it did come with these, uh, with these uh, air uh, or wind windscreens, 
that just clips on top of the uh, RODGO mic. Um, RODGO themselves, obviously, the USB charging cables, and this very, very nice uh, curly cord, corded cord TRS cable though. Uh, so this is not compatible with the phones. Um, and it does not come with the hot shoe mount though. This hot shoe mount though is compatible with the Rode, so that's cool. I'm gonna probably use use that. And for that matter, I probably also will start using the case that the photo welts came with. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw the photo welts away. And then of course the phone cable um, is pretty valuable too. Now the camera cable that came with the photo welts only records in mono. We were never able to get it to record in stereo. And I'm not really sure if that's because they gave a defective cable or what. Uh, we tried other cables and had some odd mixed success with the photo welts. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and chalk it up to bad engineering. Let's talk about some visual and operational differences between the photo welt and the road go. Uh, I personally like how the road goes look different from each other. So you know when picking this one up that this is the transmitter and um, that's kind of nice when you've got them both stuffed in a pouch and you just need to cl uh, quickly clip one on. These things look indistinguishable from each other. Um, three buttons on the bu buttons on buttons on the bottom, two screens. Uh, really the only way to tell them apart is if you're looking at the top. Transmitter obviously has the little mic thing on it. Um, the photo welt comes with a monitor out jack, which I guess is a nice little touch that you can sort of like monitor while recording out, uh, whereas the Rode Go only has the, the uh, output on the side of it. And of course, all four devices charge with USB-C cables. Battery life on the photo welts is two hours, advertised two hours for the transmitter, six hours for the receiver. And it does seem to get that pretty well. Rode goes uh, to um, uh, devices are rated for seven hours each. And also I would say that is a fairly accurate number. Another thing I liked about the Rode Goes is that if you have the transmitter off for a certain amount of time, I think it's like 10 or 15 minutes, it will automatically turn off the receiver. That's kind of a nice little battery saving feature. One thing I love though about the Rode Go, and I, this is one thing that I do think makes it just easier in general to use, is it only has three audio levels to use. Uh, I think it's like a zero, a negative 12, and a negative 24, or something like that. Don't quote me on that. Anyway, point is though, is it's got three audio levels. Whereas the photo welts, you can go anywhere from, uh, where this one, uh, you can go anywhere. See, I couldn't even tell on the video which one was which. Uh, anywhere from zero to, um, you know, higher. So I, I like the simplicity of the Road Go that it only gives you three audio levels. I don't think that anybody really needs anything more than that. It has not once given me, uh, or I have not run into any ish, uh, time where I needed anything more than that. Um, and I do think that that just adds one, um, not another lay layer of potential problems with the photo welts. Uh, additionally, you can also change like the channels that the photo welts go on. And um, I don't really think that that's too helpful either. Now, one of the key things to note about the photo welt versus the Rode Go are the way that they transmit to each other. The photo welt uses UHF and the Rode uses a 2.4 gigahertz digital signal. Now, there is a tremendous amount of argument on the internet between UHF and 2.4, which sounds better, which has better distance, compression, and all this other stuff. But I am here to tell you that in practical use, for me, not only does the Rode Go sound better, and that could just be because it has better you know, amps or better mic quality in there, but uh, not only does the Rode Go sound better, I also have had zero issues with it uh, breaking up, not just from distance, but normal distance. The UHFs in the photo well, uh, I had a lot of problems with. Basically, I'd be in the middle of a recording session and all of a sudden the mic uh, would just sort of start cracking or just uh, cut out altogether. Uh, so I did not have good reliability with the photo welts and it's one of the reasons that I recommend the road goes. Um, the photo welts microphone quality was also, you know, it's certainly doable and it was okay, but if you can't rely on them to not break up during mid recording, then it doesn't matter how good the mic is, it's the, the whole thing is just sort of worthless. Um, some other kind of quick things too, the photo welt of course is bigger, a little bit heavier. Uh, by no means is it heavy, but you know, point is it's a little bigger, a little heavier. Road goes are these nice uh, little tiny squares. And I did find that the shape of the road go being a square was more conducive to being kind of balanced on your shirt. So the photo well had a tendency to sort of like flip into your lapel because it's kind of bigger and a little more weighty. Um, I had less of that issue with the, with the, uh, the road mics. This is a test of the photo well microphone and the quality that you can expect when recording your YouTube videos with it. Um, that's, that is if it doesn't 
crack out on you because the radio signal just sort of decided to stop working at that given moment. This is the quality you can expect from the Rode Go microphone. And uh, I found that the quality on the Rode Go is a little cleaner, crisper, and a little bit nicer. So that pretty much does it with our rundown of the Rode Go and the PhotoWelt microphone. The PhotoWelt does come with more stuff, but the Rode Go is arguably just a much better product that's more reliable. Uh, I didn't have any problems with it when recording with videos. I think the sound quality is better. It's easier to use and operate. It's lighter and smaller. And all of the little things that the, that the uh, PhotoWelt comes with that the Rode Go doesn't are very easily acquired for just a nominal Fee, probably like about ten dollars worth of extras. Uh, so, which should you get, the Rode Go or the Photo Welt lapel mics? Definitely go with the Rode Go. And I think that there's also a little lesson to be learned here: is that you get what you pay for. Uh, frankly, I think no matter what you buy these days, you're probably better off buying the legitimate, original, or slightly more expensive version within reason. Um, you know, there's always that fine line between trying to find when you're overpaying for something uh, versus when you're getting something of good quality, and that can be very tough these days and of course a lot of reviews online aren't uh, reliable or uh, legitimate so you know you got to kind of suss through all of the bull crap but uh, anyway there you have it uh, go with the road go and if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to us in the comment section please like and subscribe and we will be back with another video real soon